Okay, so now that we know how to create tasks and um, custom tasks, let's see how we can create tasks that depend on each other. Okay, so it is a common scenario like um, to do something like uh, have one task that needs other tasks to run before it runs itself. Okay, so let me show you an example. So let's say you have golf.task and a task called development. Or let's say build. Okay, so you want build to um, run basically have a body here to say log um, build task here okay so let's run that by saying gulp build but let's say you wanted um, scripts to run and um, before build runs okay so how would we do that and it's very easy with gulp all you have to do is pass in scripts here and uh, what's gonna happen is before the um, function for build runs this scripts task here will run first okay so let's show that in uh, console here so let's do gulp build and as you can see starting um scripts scripts task finish scripts and then starting build build task here okay so let's say we had uh, another task called um some css so gulp.task and it is called css and CSS also has its function the way it does its um, stuff. So let's do console.log CSS task here. Okay. So yet again, if we wanted to run these two tasks before build task runs, we just have to specify it as a dependent. So let's say CSS. Okay. So let's do gold build. And as you can see, after gold build, starting scripts, uh, scripts has run, starting CSS, finish CSS, and then that's when it run the build okay all right that is all well and sound but um did you notice that um scripts run and then css run but if scripts took a bit longer let's say uh set timeout and then um we say function and then set this function runs um three seconds and then that's when the console.log is going to happen okay so what do you expect will happen do you think the set timeout will run will wait for three seconds run and then css will run based on the order these are here so let's find out so let's do gold build so as you can see it says starting script and it says finish script but then what happened um is that um this timeout in here was bypassed so initially when you run um a dependent tasks um, that are depending that are tasks depend on basically what happens is that um, those two tasks in this case scripts and CSS will run at the same time so you cannot force um, scripts to do everything it has to do and then CSS um, will start running so basically these um, the fact that you listed these one after the other doesn't mean that they'll run in that order because as you can see the timeout um, run way after build finish so how can we ensure that this timeout runs and when it finishes then css starts so how you do that is you pass in a callback here okay so you say uh pass in a callback and then you put that callback inside of this timeout here so but that is not enough you have to tell um css that it must only start running in this list here only after scripts has finished running the way we will do that is we have to pass in scripts as a dependency of CSS as well. So we have to say scripts. So basically what we're saying, saying is that build depends on scripts and CSS and CSS also depends on scripts. Okay. So now let's run this and see what happens. So the only reason why we're passing callback here is that we need to tell any depending tasks uh, when um, scripts is done if we don't pass this callback here css will not know that scripts is finished running okay so let's do god build starting scripts everything pauses scripts hasn't finished yet so after script finishes that's when css will start and then css finishes then build um, starts running okay so um so that's it guys that's how you do um depending tasks and um you only need this callback if you need to force one task to wait for another task if you do not need that you don't need this callback you can remove it here and do not forget to remove also the dependencies here because it will be a bit confusing okay so um in many cases you don't need these tasks to run in order 
um, but um, just in case you need them to run in order just know that you have the callback of functionality and you can change that as many times as possible so there are many ways of doing that um, sequential running but this is the easiest way I have found to do it okay so I thank you for watching I will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye